Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Sarah E. So today I am going to be giving advice on college. So we're in summer vacation and I think some of you guys already are going to college or probably are going to start on August. I am here to tell you guys and give you advice so that you guys won't have to like feel lost in the first day of school and give you some tips um, so you could be successful in college. I am in my third year of college. Let's get to the video. So when you arrive to college, obviously you're new. You don't know anything anywhere. Like you don't know where your class is. You don't know what buildings there are, you know? So I think it's easy if you ask for help. If you see someone out there, just ask them where, the, where it is, if they could take you or if they could show you on the map. I suggest you always take a map of your campus so that if you don't want anybody to tell you like, follow you and tell you oh it's here then you could just like take a map and tell them to show you where it is at the map and then you follow it on your own but it's always good to start a conversation with someone even if it's it's meant to ask them where a class is because you never know if you'll have a class with them so in that case you already made a friend and you won't feel lonely on the first day of class or the first semester or quarter of your college year so a lot of people come on buses and I suggest my college we got an offer on our bus passes so you don't have to go to community service and buy a pass that costs $25 or maybe more in other places but my college like gave me an offer and since it was my first year as uh, they gave me a discount because it was the first year and it was like five dollars the bus pass over there you guys should really get into more information about bus passes if you guys ride the bus but if you don't then i suggest you go into the registration for parking because it's first come first serve i'm pretty sure it's for all the colleges out there um especially because you have to pay fees and you have to, I think you get assigned a number. I don't know. I don't really know really well because I don't drive um, yet. And because I go on the bus, so I get bus passes. And yeah, my bus pass gets loaded every quarter. So yeah, it's pretty. it's a pretty good deal. And if you lose your bus pass, then you, they just charge you $10. So this is something that um, I wish someone would have told me before I did it because so when I went to my first um, year of college on my first day, I didn't know we had to like meet up with a counselor so they could like um, assign you like, oh, you should do these classes. You know, I had to struggle on my own to find out my schedule and what classes I have to take by looking at the ed plan and stuff the way they showed me the first the first orientation i went to um and it was pretty difficult for me to like make my own schedule and like look at the classes i need and which ones i do not need and because of that i ended up staying another year i could have been done last year but i didn't take a look at more information about uh, meeting up with the counselor every semester or every quarter so now i basically found out like last year that I had to go each quarter each half of the quarter in with a counselor and like pick what classes I still need what classes I don't need and just give me the classes and then I make my own schedule and it was pretty easier like that because you could just see what classes you need and then take them and not worry about them later on but now I have to like stay one more um, quarter so like you guys should really go talk to a counselor half of the quarter half or half of the semester depending how you how your um, college um, goes off of 
Okay, scheduling classes based upon what I just said. Um, I suggest you take the classes you think you won't um, pass online and then take the ones that you know you will, you will pass in person because I had I know for a fact that I won't pass history I won't I won't pass politics and so I did that I took the classes online and I honestly passed them online because you could easily use your notes whenever you're gonna take a test or something so if you want a job during school or like after school you could act um you don't have to go like everywhere and apply like honestly there are lots of job opportunities at colleges i'm pretty sure they are in my college there is a lot of opportunities to work there because there's a cafeteria where you could buy food and stuff so you should really get active in college especially because you will be noticed and known in college if you um join in clubs or go into languages like club languages like latino club or i don't know another club but that's all i've been to latino club and i suggest you go more into um clubs so that you could have more interactions and be have more friends throughout the year so you won't feel like you don't know anybody especially if you go there for like let's say you go to community college and you're just taking two years and or the four-year college four years of being there with people you don't know and maybe if you join a club like each quarter each semester you'll know someone so this is college Honestly, some people don't understand that this is college. You're paying for your classes. You're paying for tuition to get in. You're paying for so much that it's not free. It's not high school. It's not middle school. It's not elementary school where everything was free. Like they would provide food for you and stuff. You're actually independent now. You're actually spending money on these classes. And I don't see the point of you not attending unless you have an emergency let's say a doctor's appointment a dentist appointment or something like that then okay feel free to go and not show up but like technically once you're in college like you can't be thinking about ditching you can't be thinking about like not showing up because honestly you're just wasting your money if you decide to not show up because you don't want that class or because of that you know if you know you're not passing then drop it that's another thing that I didn't know was to drop a class so dropping a class if you know you got an F on the uh, first exam drop it right away because th there's a 50 and 50% 50 chance that you won't pass that class because you know you don't know that material and I suggest you retake it or sign up for that class on the same day that you drop it but sign up online now, based on what I was saying you, sh you guys should really do your homework um college isn't to be playing around and not decide not to do your homework the next day it's honestly a serious time to focus on your schoolwork focus on your grades because especially if you're a com in a community college you're still not there where the college is done like looking at your transcripts they're always going to be looking at your transcripts, especially if you're going to transfer to a four-year college um, from a community college. They're going to look at your transcript. Um, participate in class. It really helps with extra credit. Um, I know some people are so shy and they can't like raise their hand or participate because trust me, that was me and that's still me. Um, but... I mean if you know something or if you think you know just say it raise your hand say it like the teachers won't judge you because they want to help you and improve and if you don't understand they won't make fun of you if you say the wrong answers that's technically it I just gave you guys some tips of how you guys could survive college um, and trust me it's tough there was points where I want to give up but 
I keep pushing myself and I know all of this is gonna be worth it just know like don't give up you're gonna get through it and you're gonna accomplish everything you want in life and I hope you guys enjoy this video that's all I have for you guys today and know that I love you guys so much like I always say in all my videos and if you want to see how I did this look then I'll put it in the end where you could click on it and subscribe to my channel love you guys so much bye